Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? I hope you guys are having a great day. We're playing some Erlong today against a soul. Does she have a border? She does not. I don't know this guy at the top of my head, but it's like the same as every other video, I guess. I know this name, but I don't know why. I, like, I know him, but I don't know him, I guess. So, what are we going to do here? I think that my best play late game is Tainted. But, like, surviving with Tainted feels so bad early game. I don't know, we'll try. I, I rarely ever do this. But against a character like Soul, I actually think it's really good. Uh, Tainted Steel does really well against a lot of mages. The, the item in general is just really correct. You just don't see it very often because, well, it's not a jungle starter, so... Smile. If it's not a jungle starter, it ain't me. Although, I'm definitely not supposed to have pressure. Like, even if I went, like, mannequins, for example... Even if I went mannequins and started the lane and did the whole laning phase thing, you know, all of that, I would not get pressure, most most squirtingly. At least I'm not supposed to. I guess if he misplays or buys the wrong items, I'd do fine. But I'm assuming that he would play, you know, the way every other soul player does, which is buy mannequins and just kind of hold down their, their button, you know? You buy mannequins and you just hold down your button, dude right here we definitely can't fight her because oh, I got quiet because I thought I was trying to listen for her to see if she was coming around the corner but she's going to her blue we most squirtingly cannot fight her right now so if we couldn't fight her with the early game star we definitely can't fight her with this star but we can back real quick by our golden blade so the early game is going to be kind of rough assuming she plays correctly the early game is going to be scary and by scary i mean not scary because i'm not gonna actually fight into her i'm probably just gonna pve for a little bit which is the sad reality of duel if you don't win fights like assuming you want to win you know you're not just playing for fun ha 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 assuming you want to win you got to take the fights that are good for you mm, yeah I, I definitely don't kill her there i'm most definitely best case scenario i get shell but everyone's so tanky in the early game now man So if I chase her, I'm going to basically trade out that entire minion wave. I'll miss the entire minion wave to get her shell. Which, as you can imagine, in a matchup where I think I do fine late game, it's only about whether I get snowballed or not. Missing an entire wave for her shell is not worth it for me. Not even a little bit. So we're going to try to back here. We went all the way around this corner because a lot of people will just chase you if there's nothing else to do. Which there isn't. Every single buff is down. Bull Demon hasn't even spawned yet. There's literally nothing to do but chase your opponent and try to stop their back. So I walked around the corner. If she really wanted to, she could definitely still chase me, but whatever, man. Let's 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 limit test a little bit. Let's see how much damage we can do. Pop the pop the potions. I'm going to wait to taunt, because I have shell to mitigate, and I have my shield. Hmm. Looking a little bit sketchy here, i got to be honest. Oh, <laughs> no way, dude. We should not win this fight. So that's, that's literally just, I have an item and she doesn't. While my item's not the greatest, it's still, I have an item completed and she doesn't. She had to have missed some autos there or something. Though. I don't know, you guys are the ones watching the video. You can ro roll back the footage to see exactly what just went down there but i'm pretty sure that, like because i should not win those fights maybe it's just because she didn't space she walked towards me the whole time usually soul wins by just kind of doing that ranged auto attack thing where you backpedal but she didn't have a completed item she didn't have a completed item she literally walked into my melee autos the entire time like literally every part of that fight she was just walking into my autos which is not how you play that at all especially at the very end that was really bad there we go there we go well i guess this guy dude this video kind of makes me look bad man because i said there's there's no way we can win even with an early game start so we went the late game start and then we won anyway Ah, dude. Dude, I swear I'm not lying, guys. I swear I'm not a liar, liar, pants on fire, dude. 
I'm not supposed to win. She just played it poorly. Bonk, bonk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Also, I guess I should hint on the Golden Blade, by the way. Does does Erlong need Golden Blade to be successful in Duel? No. Uh, does Like, in general, no. Does he need it to be successful against a high-pressure character? Or what should be a high-pressure character? Like, Izanami, AMC, Soul, Olorun with Mannequins, all of them. Uh, do you need it in those matchups? I wouldn't say you need it. However, it does benefit him a lot. Because even if you don't need it to clear, like for example, as you can see, my mink does a good amount of, good amount of damage here. And it clears, give or take. Golden Blade allows you to not clear with it if you want to. You can still clear with the three if you want, but it allows you to have multiple options. And having options in duel is really strong. Uh, and on top of that, even if you're not, even if you don't need it exclusively to clear, it only helps you a little bit to clear because you have another ability like mink that does fairly well. That doesn't mean it's terrible. Like, it has good uh, jungle camp clear after you clear the wave. Dude, we just beat the crap out of her. It has good jungle camp clear. You can mink the wave, beat him up. And, like, if that red was up, I could go over there and clear it with my autos. So, it has good jungle camp, jungle camp clear. And it has 10% movement speed. Which, no other katana. Like, all, pretty much all the items. I haven't actually looked at all the items, so I don't want to quote it. I don't know, I don't know how much Doom Orb is or whatever. This is a terrible spot for her to be in. Uh, the tower's gonna... The tower's gonna smelt me. If I walk up and ult her, she'll ult it. Which will immune it. And then I'll get knocked up. But, um... Dude, what was I even saying before? I was saying something. Oh yeah, it, it gives 10%. And if you look at the katana tree... Literally, all these items... 7%, 7%, 7%. They all give 7 So that 10%... It's really nice, it really is. Dang, slightly mistimed. It's not the worst ult ever though, because it does, you know, just heal me, right? It is just going to heal me. Dude, she has no mana, what is she staying here for? Dang, I was trying to kill her with the golden blade there, like, by hitting the minion. But she was not in range. Ward his blue so we can see what's happening over there. This guy's building correctly, give or take. I mean, uh, since he lost the first blood, I probably would have went defense there, but he's building correctly, give or take. But he's definitely not playing it correctly. Um, I think we go talk. So actually, let's go crit. Why not? Let's go crit. We love crit, boys. Crit and thorns, crit and thorns. I like going blink against mages. In fact, that's probably my favorite thing ever to do. Is uh, If I'm against a mage as a melee character, you better believe I'm going blink 99% of the time. But in this matchup, I'm just respecting soul in general. Because soul has an amazing boxing potential. and But all of a sudden, if you buy thorns, if you're playing a good god, obviously, that can fight her if... But maybe couldn't fight her pre-Thorns. Thorns just basically allows you to one-shot her. If you catch her around a corner, you camp BDK, you camp something, and you catch her around a corner. Like, for example, if she walked right here and I start CCing her, her only option is to run or fight. And in, the, in those kind of situations, a lot of the times you catch them after they start running because you ambushed them and you got them half HP before they even realized. So you're going to catch them. So then there's the other option of fighting. Just stand your ground and box. And Thorns just kind of takes that ability away from her. She literally can't stand her ground and fight. Thorns got nerfed like 5,000 times, but it's still really good. It is still really good. I think she will contest this, is my guess. But I've been wrong about pretty much every single thing she's ever done this whole game, so... Okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> okay, like, I know it kind of goes without saying, but I'm still going to say it. When I say things like, he's going to do this, or he'll build this and do that, I'm saying like, what happens to me on stream, because I play so many duel games that aren't just on YouTube, right? And I played so many in the past. 
I'm referring to what has happened to me in the past, what happens to me most commonly, and what I do to other people when I play those characters. So I'm telling you guys what you should do, but the, the funny part about duel is your opponent is not going to do what they should do like 80% of the time. We can taunt off the ult here. Thorns. I think I think she could have gotten away if she just ran in a straight line instead of turning. It would have been close though. Cause I can't dive that Phoenix too deep because I'll definitely die to it. I don't I don't have fizz D, so actually I have a little bit with my tainted, but her turning and burning like that is just simply never going to work. Not not, not since she's so behind. Basically she has like two big spikes. Assuming she's ahead. Talk more about that in a second. Oh my god, I'm so glad that Phoenix died. I don't even know if I killed it or if uh, an archer killed it. For a moment, it was getting cold. She's chasing me. Wait, she missed her. She missed her too. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. I would just surrender right there. Well, I guess I wouldn't actually because I like never surrender. And that's not like a Chad thing, that's just more like, I just know people, people just mess up so much in Duel, man. Like, it, you, you pretty much can just exclusively rely on people messing up. If you just play based off of them misplaying, you'll be right, like, 98% of the time, to be honest. Especially if you're at lower ranks, like, a lot of the stuff I tell you guys, it's with the assumption of, like, like, for example, if I'm like, Soul should do this, you know? Like, that's because I've been stream sniped by a soul main that's like a top dueler and just poops on me with it kind of thing. But like, if you're at lower ranks, even if those ranks are just like platinum or diamond, bro, you can pretty much count on people doing stupid stuff 99% of the time. And so, in those instances, it's like, well, why would you surrender if you know someone's gonna throw like 90% of the time? <laughs> if you play, cor if you all of a sudden start playing correctly and they start playing worse, you, your chances of winning are just there. But you could say the same. What? Dude, you went spectral? No way. No way. That's the advantage of going defense third. Is usually if the person's ahead of you, you can tell if they're going crit. <clears throat> but, oh yeah, his power spikes this game. Which I was mentioning earlier, but got rudely interrupted by the soul. Her power spikes are level 3. She beats me at level 3. And I think she beats me at Ring of Akathe. Like when she gets this first item. Her first item versus my first item, I should lose. I didn't because I actually killed her before she got her first item online and I was ahead and I had pressure. So that power spike just evaporated. Because she fought me in the middle of those two spikes. This should just be a kill for me. Wait, I didn't even... What, dude? I didn't even know she was in her three. Bro, I actually had no idea she was in her three. I should have just taunted sooner. Maybe kill her. I have thorns. We got her with the root. Right here is definitely a front door kind of moment. I definitely can't kill the titan, but I can do considerable damage to it. I have a lot of attack speed. Silver branch wouldn't be bad here. The longer she stays here, the higher chances her phoenix dies, so I'm just gonna try to bait her. Just by standing around like a weirdo. I think she realizes it now, but a little too late, and that's her phoenix. Yeah, like, stuff like that. I bet you this guy is not even a bad player. Uh, generally speaking, I bet you this guy is not even a bad player, he's just tilted and tunnel visioning. I really need to get this red, so I'm gonna make her think that I'm walking towards her, which will make her back up a little bit, and then I run to this. Like, I'm basically just bluffing, dude. Like, oh yeah, we're totally gonna fight. You better back up, and then I just immediately run around and get the red. Run! I think I can even win trades with her with this much gold. Dude, it's such a bad idea to try, though, because honestly, if I died right here... Without clearing this minion wave, especially, she would take my phoenix. She would take the tower and the phoenix.
Hear me? What do we want here? I think we just go oboe. Yeah, I think this is an oboe moment. Oboe moment! We're gonna have so much attack speed, dude. We're, we're over capping when, when we have our three active like we do right now. Uh, we're not over capping without our three, which makes me want to just use my turtle in fights and not the mink. We are going to be super close to cap though when we get wind demon procs. As you can see, we're at 2.44. I want to show you guys the oboe damage. Dude, maybe that's what this video should be. <laughs> maybe I should make a Vamana video of oboe. Here, I'll show you guys. And you got to keep in mind, this is without Fizzity, without a lot anyways. Actually, maybe... Okay, we'll wait until level 20, right here after this wave. We'll buy Tainted. I'm going to pop all my health chalices. Okay, pop all the health chalices. Because it resets in the enemy Titan. We're gonna buy Tainted Amulet, get a little bit more Fizz D and a whole lot more magic defense, pop more health chalices, because again, it resets in the enemy fountain if you didn't know. So we have a whole bunch of time, and now he wants to fight me, which this is not what I wanted, dude. I wanted to show you guys, <laughs> I want to show you guys the oboe. Back up, man. Back up, dude. I will kill you. All right, oboe time. Wait, he's not even... Okay, he's back, there we go. All right, we're gonna leave. We did 600 to her with oboe. We did 700 to Titan, and that was like a terrible example too. That's the craziest part. That wasn't even a good situation. That was like turbo scuff because she poked me out a little bit before. Ooh, she poked me out a little bit before, and also she uh, she backed up in the middle of it, so I couldn't just keep hitting with the oboe. And also we're a, we have a crit build. I just noticed that. Like this build is obviously a lot better without crits because it makes your oboe skill better, and you can't crit the titan. So this is like the worst situation ever for oboe, but it's still good. That's the craziest part. <laughs> It's still good, even though this is a bad situation. Because I've seen Oboe do like 2,500 damage. 2,500 damage to the enemy Titan. And I've seen it do 1,200 damage to a god in the same same uh, situation. And by the way, just to fill you guys in, what would I have went if not for... Uh, oh, I guess we're just gonna box here. Dude, it, it's just clock. She just doesn't win. Uh, tainted Steel. We have double defense. Tainted Steel plus Shadow Steel anti heal. What is that? That's 70% in total, and Soul kind of relies on her healing. Plus, she also went Thorns instead of Beads, which is really bad. You need Beads versus Erlong. Remember that, boys? You need beads versus Erlong in most matchups, unless you just outright win them in, in the auto trade, which isn't really that frequent. So, takeaways from this game. When you play Soul, make sure you pressure as hard as you can level 3, and then you kind of reset a bit until Heke. You don't want to fight in between that, because it's not, her, it's not a good spike for her. And also, Golden Blade here. You do not need Golden Blade on Erlong. I mainly did this because I didn't want to do a starter. And so what's my best like tier two item, you know, like what's my best like start to this game that's not a starter and Golden Blade just seemed good. So like in, in a situation where I'm just going to go mannequins, I probably won't go Golden Blade uh, because Erlong can clear just fine, typically. Uh, but Golden Blade's never bad, it's just not always needed. It's kind of just a personal preference thing. We went Oboe for the memes, although I will say this item is really good at closing out games. I could have very easily closed out the game the first time I was hitting the Titan if I wasn't trolling and trying to just do a ton of damage by having it bounce back and forth between them and get high numbers to show you guys. So the takeaways from this is just Golden Blade optional. I wouldn't go Oboe in a serious game unless you actually are PvEing the Titan. Tainted Steel is viable as long as you can actually survive the early game. And that's about it. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Uh, the YouTube channel has been doing really well lately. I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so, 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 so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.